Hello everyone, welcome to my sad little corner of the internet, you're watching Griffix, and can I respond to some comments before they're even made? Griffix, you're red. Yes, I am. So would you be if you were on the attic while it was 30,000 Celsius? I'm not exaggerating. That's literally the temperature right now. Second comment, your arms are thin. Yes, my arms are thin, but that booty though. I really have to cut that out. Fuck it, I'm probably not even going to. <laughs> so anyway, um, if you follow me on Twitter, uh, which is... Uh, I'll put my Twitter handle somewhere here. If you follow me on Twitter, then you know that yesterday I was ranting until like 5 a.m. <laughs> before I finally went to bed about something that happened. The last time I did that, the Young Turks did something stupid. To be precise, they did their coverage of the Nice terror attacks. So yesterday I was on Twitter again, ranting. 5 a.m. should have been in bed, and yet I wasn't. Guess why? Exactly, the Young Turks did something stupid. Although it needs to be said, not all Young Turks. I mean, Ben, I know that I took away your star in my last video, you can have it back. Quick recap for those of you who don't know what happened. The Young Turks were at the Republican National Convention and they were basically live-streaming, as they always do. I normally would have never watched it because, honestly, if I need to get information on the Republican National Convention, I go to a more trustworthy source than the very heavily opinionated Young Turks. But for some reason, there was a confrontation between Cenk Uyghur the host and also CEO of the Young Turks, and Alex Jones, who we all know from things like this. The outrageous tyranny pouring in around us. I feel like I'm trapped in an Indiana Jones movie where the sand of the water is pouring into the chamber, and I'm saying, we gotta get out of here, it's rising, and... You sit on a throne of lies. He's basically an angry Republican Humpty Dumpty with a wig. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty much Alex Jones. So there was a confrontation between Alex Jones and Cenk Uyghur. And I don't know if this was planned, I don't know if Alex Jones was trying to find Cenk in order to confront him. Maybe they just ran into each other. Maybe Alex saw that Cenk was broadcasting and he decided to go up to him and confront him. Whatever the reason was, however this came about, I'm not interested. All I'm interested in is what happened next. And I'm sure most of you, by now, have already seen the footage from many different angles in all its glory. Basically, Alex got up in Cenk's face and he was being really, really annoying. I have to admit, if I would have been Cenk, I wouldn't have appreciated it either. I hate it when people invade my personal space like that and it was really obvious that Alex Jones was trying to trigger Cenk and trying to get a reaction out of Cenk. And Cenk responded in the most mature way possible by totally not losing his shit. Oh, did I say not? All right, all right. Once you get out of here, Alex. All right. We gotta continue the show. Hey, man. Nobody we watches you. We know show, nobody guys. watches you. Gotta, you need the Saudi are funny enough, you little jihad. Hey, first of all, let me explain something, all right? Okay, this is bullshit. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. We're against Saudi Arabia, you dumbass. We talk about that all the time. We talk about that all the time. You don't know shit. What do you think, the lizard people are in charge? No. Is that what you think? And your pants are your ass. Is that what you think? You're the anti-liberal and you're pissed. Bullshit. We're being nice here. You, you know what I care about? I care, I care about the American people. Good. You're the one flipping the house. Come on. Anybody hurt? Let me push 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 now, if you look at what was going on before that point, then you see that Cheng at first was actually calm was actually mature and was actually trying to avoid that confrontation. And I think this was the first phase in which he was sort of baffled by the fact that he ran into Alex Jones, who then tried to confront him live on air, uh, and he didn't really know what to do, so he just sat there and let it happen. 
And then something snapped in him, and I don't know how Cheng's head works, so I don't exactly know how, but at some point he decided he'd had enough. He jumped up, and he went up in Alex Jones' face, um, in a really physically intimidating way. Hey, first of all, let me explain something, all right? Okay, this is bullshit. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're in this Saudi Arabia, you dumbass! We talk about that all the time! We talk about that all the time! You don't know shit! What do you think, the lizard people are in charge? No. Is that what you think? And your pants are your ass. Is that what you think? You're the anti-liberal of your pants. Bullshit! We're being nice here. You know what I care about? I care about, I care about the American people. Come on, come on. Anyone hurt on the I'm not hurt. Come on. Fuck off my stage! Fuck off my stage! I got to my face. I'm well in my You're the one that was in there. You're the one I mean, I said already that Alex Jones went up to Cenk in a way that I think was very unprofessional. It was very obvious that he was trying to get into a confrontation with Cenk like that. But I think how Cenk responded to that uh, shifted the guilt from Alex to Cenk. If Cenk would have acted exactly the way he acted in the first few seconds, then he would have gone without blame. Alex Jones would have lost face for his stupid way of confronting Cenk and how rude he was when he did that. But Cenk instead totally responded. But Cenk instead decided to jump up and totally respond to what Alex Jones was going for. Now, there are a few things that I want to say. Why did Chang do this? He is broadcasting live, right? Cameras are running, and even if his team decides to edit it all out, which is not unthinkable, I mean, it wouldn't be the first time that some new show edits out some kind of conflict, you know, that takes place while broadcasting. They just go off air, remove the problematic scene, and then they upload the video to the internet. That has happened before, uh, it wouldn't be out of the ordinary. But Cenk's team recorded it, um, Alex Jones's team recorded it too, and one of the first things you see when Cenk gets up into Alex Jones's face is that all these journalists suddenly just form a circle around them to make sure that they're not missing out on anything. Cenk knows that this is filmed from several different angles. He's a professional journalist, or at least he claims to be. He has his own business. He is not a reporter for the Young Turks. No, he is the Young Turks. He is the CEO of the Young Turks. Imagine being in that position, right? And while at first your staff mostly tries to remain somewhat calm, you, as their boss, as their manager, as their CEO, you jump up the responsible person that pays the paychecks, you jump up and do that to Alex Jones. What the fuck? I mean, how disconnected from reality are you when you think you can pull that and then everyone's going to support you? This was shot from multiple angles. Everyone has seen how you were the one that escalated the situation. Everyone was able to see how Jimmy Dore walked up to Alex Jones to spit him in the face. There are a lot of people who said to me that um, Cenk never watches response videos or goes through comment sections. So he might completely miss most of the criticism that he gets, but I don't believe for a second that it escapes him completely. He obviously has some insight into what people are saying about him because it's said so often and in such great volumes that I don't think you can really look past it, even when you're Cenk Uger. So he obviously knows what criticism is leveled at him. And then Alex Jones, someone he obviously despises, gets in his face and confronts him with it. And then I think all that frustration of being criticized for being a regressive and not fair on Islam, all that stuff just explodes. You see that right before Cenk really gets in that confrontation with Alex, Ben actually stands up, takes his time to take off his jacket. He knows what's gonna happen. He knows 
that he needs to stand between Alex and Cenk. And who knows, maybe if he wouldn't have done that, that actually would have been physical violence. I, I, I have no idea at this point uh, in the conflict, I wouldn't have put anything past Cenk, to be honest. If he would have knocked Alex Jones out, I wouldn't be surprised. The fact that he can see that coming and knows how to handle it, I think says more than a thousand words. What Cenk did, if he was working for anyone else, he would have been fired. All right? He would have been fired. But he isn't working for anyone else because the Young Turks is his business. That is his thing. He is the CEO. I mean, I was talking to Crowd and T about this yesterday and we were sort of talking about how you do a video on this because, you know, what do you want me to tell you? That you shouldn't hit each other? that you shouldn't assault each other or disrespect each other. I mean, what am I supposed to tell people? You know, this is sinking so low for Alex Jones, but I think especially for the Young Turks. This is sinking so low that I don't really know what I can contribute to this other than the obvious, which is that you are not supposed to act this way. I think the bottom line is both were wrong in this situation. But maybe I'm just more disappointed in Cenk because I thought that with all our disagreements aside, he was still a decent person and an adult that in a face-to-face -face interaction could act decently. But apparently that is not true. So yeah, apparently I overestimated Cenk. Who thought? <laughs> so I guess that's my two cents on this. I can't really make much more of it. Uh, like I said, I can state the obvious. Kids be nice to each other. But honestly, who needs me for that? So, without further ado, um, yeah.